Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tuesday. It's the after show, the Great Night program. Oh, Episode yes. 81. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the thing. Who did the Who did the oh yeah part in that one song with the oh yeah? Uh, funny you should say that. I it, the, it was the guy who wrote the song. Really? And he actually just slowed his voice down. Mm. Well, I assume could, I don't think I didn't but, think it was a real dude. Because it was great, and when you sped it up, it always he, the guy sounded like this. Oh yeah. Oh oh, when when you correct it, yeah, it, it just sped it like, back up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Did he also do more the, beautiful? Did, did he also the do the chicka chicka? Yeah, chicka chicka. Chicka chicka. Wow. And he sped that up. Yeah. Or slowed it and then slowed and then it down. Slowed it down. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So that's the joke between Ek and I. Is there are times where we'll go beautiful, more beautiful. Oh. Because <laughs> you can slow the it down and you get a hit in the eighties. Yeah. But now fucking worthless. Yes. You want to see? You want to see the guy who did it in this country anymore? Ship it all off to China. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're the ones doing oh yeah now. Yeah. Is that him? That's him. This is Dieter Meyer. There he is. Look at Dieter. Dude, Dieter's a dude, man. Dieter man. Yeah. Bucks. <laughs> Slaps. That man, that man has <laughs> got Check out got the a, watch. Man. He's got he's he's got a stash that smells like Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. It smells like it. What does it smell okay. like? Oh, I can't make the joke. No, no. Oh, you guys can really <laughs> make the joke. I, I, no, I love it. I love it. I can't artfully just, you know, just like, like, like a I wasn't fucking laughing. woodpecker. I like was... a woodpecker. That's how fast. He, I wasn't laughing as hard of it as like Brian like Bri- Bri- was at himself. Yeah. Yeah. Jokes, yeah. But, yeah. No, no, no. I, 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 uh, we fucked up. We fucked up. We were supposed to announce during the show that uh, uh, oh, uh, Founders Day Picnic is going to be on April Fool's Day, April 1st. Hey. No joke. Yeah. 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 No. Okay. Uh, by the way, we are going to have to set hard and fast rules about <laughs> about what kind of shenanigans we can get up to. But but uh, I just uh, secured the next door venue. Um, uh, uh, we'll be rolling out stuff. We're, we're going to do like we did two years ago because mm. uh, that worked out well when it caused a pandemic. It was going to be so awesome that the world invented a disease it was a great sell uh <laughs> but the uh um uh, we're gonna be rolling out early bird stuff if, if if you came last year you'll you'll get the the notices first and then we'll roll out from there uh make plans to be there yes it's going to be fun it's going to be special uh if half the shit that uh, uh has been talked about today uh, uh comes true it will be well worth the price of admission so carve it out in your schedule right now April 1st, uh, that is a Saturday? Uh, yes, yes. And, should and they get on, say, the Gimme email list to get uh, updates about this? Yeah. Is there a call to action on this? Uh, well, um, yeah. The, oh, uh, uh, here's the big call to action is if you are one of the founders, get on the founders Discord because Annalisa is talking to everybody, <clears throat> coordinating stuff and listening to what you guys are most excited about, what you want most to have happen. Um, but uh, uh, Annalisa is coordinating, uh, coordinating everything. We're going to start rolling out uh, uh, the tickets. Yep. That's about all I can say. So go get it. It's going to be a fun festival of hilarity. My mother's birthday. Oh, uh, are, are we going to see, uh, what was it, something confetti? Or is it, just kidding, April Fool's Day. Uh-huh. <laughs> she was a twin. Just was, kidding, just she kidding. was a triplet. <laughs> or am I? Uh, the, uh, uh, oh, I was asking, what was the name of the dude for your alter ego? Uh, 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 Teddy Confetti. Teddy Confetti. Teddy yeah, yeah, Confetti. Teddy, hey, Teddi everybody, Blair, I'm the, Teddy Confetti. The player bartender. Going to make you some drinks. We were told some people in the Discord were worried he'd become a little too too much like Gary Glitter. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no, no, no. There's a there's no, a hard no. there's a bright light oh, on that one. No, 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 no. Uh oh no no. Uh uh-huh. uh. No, tickets are not on sale already. Uh the decision and the bookings were made today or today. And and we're gonna roll out tickets because I mean our big problem is that is that we have a hard upper limit of how many people we can handle. Yeah, this is not an infinite venue. No, there are only X amount of uh, 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 spots there. So get them now, get them early, and I'll say this in the after show: uh, there are allegedly going to be packages that secure your availability to buy tickets for not only this year but also next year. What's next happening next year, year Justin? Is a full fucking eclipse in Austin. This is the place you're going to want to be, and I will guarantee you, as fast as these are going to sell out for a regular ass Founders Day, a Founders Day during a full eclipse, which Brian has fucking planned for the last five years, is going to be that much more epic. So, if there is 
uh, allegedly, I've heard rumors. Uh, I cannot, I cannot divulge my sources, mostly because <laughs> if I pointed at them, they'd start laughing at their own jokes. So <laughs> they couldn't confirm that they were my source. But uh, uh, there will be a, a a level for which that allows you to not worry about whether or not you're going to get into next year, and that's the big deal. Uh, uh, can we pull out of the audience, uh, Andrew Heaton? Andrew, do you mind coming up here? Okay, here you come up here. I'll, yeah, I'll take breath. Them. Yeah, Wallace is chill as AF. Yeah, uh, chill as AF. Uh, we should we should have that uh, coexist bumper sticker made of made guns. of guns. Yeah. I swear yeah. that's got to be a real one. That's, that's got to happen. Oh no, I no, I've definitely I've seen that in 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 the parking lot of the bar we go to. Oh. <laughs> or maybe it was like a game game controllers. I've seen the game controllers oh. one too. Wait, where'd you go? You remember during the shoot, I was trying to say yakety sax. But it came out yakety scat, and then I started doing yakety sax as a scat thing. <laughs> Wait, that's not okay. scat. That's the hamster dance. Uh, no, 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 no he was doing yakety sax. Yeah, no, the hamster dance was. Andrew, do you know any of this music? But but uh, the the reason I mentioned it is because I thought there is no way I'm the first person to do a yakety scat, <laughs> and so I made the mistake <laughs> of googling. <laughs> oh no! And that's, and that's where the cabbage cannon came out. And oh. but uh, as far as I could tell, nobody's made a song <laughs> called yakety scat. There's, there's pictures. How on a scale of one to ten, how horrified would I be if whatever yakety smack is or yakety scat, yakety scat, yeah. uh, uh, is poop? Yeah, well, I figured that. It's the yakety bit that I don't know. <laughs> I'm wondering if it's a special kind of poop. Uh, it's going to be vomit, right? About <laughs> scat, like yakking. What? Oh, with vomit and, and scat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jacket and scat. Jacket and jacket. The old, the old, the old, the old double ended bazooka. Had <laughs> <laughs> that once. It's a double threat. Thank yep. God EK held my hair. Oh, Both and sides. <laughs> yeah. uh, Andrew Heaton, how are you doing? I'm great. I, I, I just decided I, I was going to kind of come over and say hi. Yeah, what the hi, fuck welcome. are you doing here, man? I You know what? I, I went to the gym. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Mm. You get and, points. And then I was like, Some, I, so, somebody's going to be visiting his girlfriend within the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for a little bit of what we like to call yakety. <laughs> oh, no. Well, whatever. Well, you yakety know. scat play. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I, then I was, I've been at home all day except for the gym, which is like 30 feet from where I live. So I thought I'll wow. come over here and interrupt stuff. But I did take the dog out while you were recording when he started making noises. So I was like, no. Nah. But then oh, he started. No. Oh, I didn't yeah, even notice. No, everyone thinks it's just a bigger audience. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was afraid people would thought that there would be like a like a wheel that was squeaky or something. No, no, I mean, no. That would be great if people thought that we had a, like an old timey steam engine podcast <laughs> studio. <laughs> we were, we were, we were we doing soundscapes over on Valve Seventeen. Bobby. What's his name again? Wallace. 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 Hi, Wallace. Big Wally. Oh, so cute. Wall Wallace. Uh, uh, we went uh, uh, laser tagging last night. We went laser tagging last night. That was great fun. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right there off. Uh, uh, blazer tag. Yeah. We oh, blazer, blazer tag. tag. Yeah. 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 Did you see any uh, news commentators this time? We did not I see. It was mostly sixteen-year-olds looking to smoke pot in the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> us. That doesn't. That doesn't exactly disqualify what I asked. No, <laughs> it, was, it was a bunch of floppy-haired Gen Zers uh, uh, with ironic names mm. like Barnes and Noble. <laughs> yes, sure. Uh, and so I, I just, I very much enjoyed yelling whenever that dude shot me when he's like thirteen, <laughs> like, and he's just like, you know. All he has to do in life is play laser tag and jerk off. And like, he's therefore better at both of them than I am. And, <laughs> uh, and so he's just like, 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 keeps shooting me. And I'm just like, Barnes and Nova! <laughs> it was like like eight people there. It was like like our party, and then oh, oh, man. My, which which five, so I, I play I play laser tag once every couple of years. I think the last time I would played it, no, we we played once previously as well. Yeah, my my all time favorite laser tag moment because. Uh, I've, I've been playing laser tag since I was like 12, and I do it once or twice a year now. And it's usually me and a couple of 10 year olds. And, right. uh, uh, and I, you're just lighting them up. I have lighting them up. Yeah. Like I, I, I was in New Hampshire. You, you weren't at laser tag, but we were in New Hampshire together. You are, yes. And I was meeting one of my friends in Massachusetts, which is apparently adjacent. Yeah. And we went and played laser tag. It's a New England. 
It's in New England. Yeah. And uh, uh, like we walk in and I'm like, take the high ground, slaughter the children. Just immediately. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then we light him up. And this 12-year-old kid comes out and he goes, that wasn't fair. And I go, tell it to the Hague. <laughs> I just walk away. <laughs> Like who's that? I don't know who they. I like to is. think that sick burn made him a college professor today. Yeah, yes. he's yeah. he's gonna be a sophomore in college and go. Oh, that's why yeah. that man that scarred me. Yeah, yeah, that dickhead. I get his joke now. <laughs> I fit the puzzle piece into the mystery of my life. I uh, have one award. One award, ladies and gentlemen. It, it goes to you. Hey! It is the stared into the void that was Kevin McCarthy 15 times. <laughs> oh, And still shit. came out alive. Wow. Uh, 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 Heaton, thank you very much. I, I, I would like to uh, accept this award on behalf of the uh, Academy, Academy of Watching uh, Kevin, McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy fail to yep. be the speaker 14 yep. times. Yep. Uh, uh, Heaton, we we uh, have directed everybody to call Kevin McCarthy's office to keep the C-SPAN cameras. Um, okay. I, well, we're gonna, we're covering that tomorrow, aren't we? On oh, we're not wrong. As we're well, not yeah. wrong. I'm gonna have yeah. to think about my position on this. Oh, really? Are, are you? Are oh shit? Are you gonna piss in the pool here? I might piss in the pool. Okay, so I, I don't know about the, the the shenanigans. Shenanigans might be fun, but like I, I I feel pretty strongly actually that like congressional inquests where they drag some CEO out and everybody gets to pretend that they're running for president because they're actually running for president. I think those should just be transcripts. I don't think that should be on camera because it incentivizes all the blowhards to come out and trot out their speech to do their performance. Or, or alternately, you could whoever you're interviewing have them on C-SPAN, but you never show the congressman. You just show a card that says what they said. So you That's, should. You should you should treat them like school shooters and just not acknowledge yes. that they're there. Yes, that is how like, I feel like about like most cover of cover the action, but them not like give shooters. them because otherwise people will emulate them. Yeah, well, this and I'm I'm super against cameras in the Supreme Court because I think at that point you'd see the, the the purpose of the trial would no longer be the trial. It would be <laughs> how do I like, as an attorney gain more prominence? Is Sotomayor wearing roller skates? What is this? Can, can I can I bring him up here? Yeah, 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 bring yeah. Him up. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, can, Wallace. Can I uh, can I make a uh, a compromise here? Yeah. That at the beginning of each one of the sessions or each one of their things, they first start wide, so you can see how many people are not there, and then pull in tight or. And say, do you read the role, and then that. So C-SPAN actually put out their framework of what they would like to do or or pitches for things that they would like to do. Uh, their ideal would be to just leave the cameras that they had in there during the speaker thing throughout all of it. Uh, the secondary would, would just be to only put the cameras in on certain occasions when big legislation is going to pass, sure. which would add a little bit of a weird element of, of deciding what the important legislation is and what the non-important legislation is. Uh, but then otherwise, they were like, can we just install three cameras that we would control, that we wouldn't even have cameramen. We would just be able to switch to would a they few all be different fighting things. over the control of it? So the weirdest thing about this is that nobody else is fighting C-SPAN. Nobody's like, well, fucking C-SPAN got to do it, so we should get to do it. Like, Everyone agrees. Everyone in media is like, yep. Yes. C-SPAN. Let's do Let it. Let C-SPAN do it, which so, is like uh, so amazing. Andrew, if I can make a pitch, uh, I, I, I got to admit, I, like I understand there's also the distinction of like non-governmental corporate entities having a presence in there. I, I understand of, all that. Of, of whom C-SPAN is the one I trust most. Yeah. But, uh, but on the flip side, I thought you would have been on board because if we could do anything to turn uh, Congress into more of the circus that is like parliament... That seems like something that you would be down for. No, he Man. hates he hates that shit. I'm you're, the one who you're, likes you're, that okay, shit. Okay, there there is this tiny Justin Robert Young Joker part of me that wants to see it all burned down. Right? That is <laughs> that is a like you know like three drink minimum or something like that. That could be cool. <laughs> the part of me that wants functional governance is the the the, the super ego tends to outweigh the id when it comes to my political thing. I, I have I have I have takes that that uh, uh, I'm I'm gonna say for where not wrong, but right. I do I do think that there is a legitimate argument to say that putting cameras into how they actually operate with each other, even if you're going to assume that some people will show up in a fucking Riddler's outfit because they want attention, <laughs> uh, they. That is a net positive, and, and it's also a net positive in taking the heat down. 
It, it also, does. like, Im- imagine if you, right now, <clears throat> depending on where you sit on the spectrum, there are characters that, that you only know as person I'm supposed to hate. But it's like, if you see them, like, just outshine everyone on Halloween with the best outfit, <laughs> then it's like, well, it's like, oh, wait, they're human beings. That, that seems like a net positive. You know, may- maybe so. Like, I would probably... Because I don't pay pay that much attention to day to day congressional proceedings, I tend to go more more uh, long term model type stuff. I probably wouldn't pay any attention to Chuck uh, Chuck Grassley if it weren't for his Twitter account. His Twitter account is awesome. Yes. Chuck Grassley's Twitter account is hilarious. Everybody at home, Google best Chuck Grassley tweets. They're all as if how's that spelled? G R G R A S S L E Y. Okay. It's yeah. it's like imagine Ch- Chuck Grassley is eighty years old. Yeah. <laughs> And he has a Twitter account, and he very obviously is typing himself. It is not one of his aides that yeah. is doing it. It's just imagine your grandfather leaving like very abbreviated, misspelled notes on a refrigerator. <laughs> As letter U would expect, Gov Reynolds did a GR8 job W her condition in the state number two N I T E bold capital B common sense leadership for Iowa. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the the Hall of Fame put it in bronze and uh, 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 drill it into the uh, uh, House or sorry the Senate is him saying if you have a pigeon spelled incorrectly uh, uh, with yeah. the code pigeon spelled like pigeon English which by the yeah, way takes the exact same amount of letters to spell <laughs> uh, uh, oh by the way eighty nine not eighty if you have a pigeon with this code. Uh, if you lost <laughs> your pet pigeon slash go. it's dead in front yard, my Iowa farm just discovered. Here are identifiers. Right leg blue, 20, 20, 30, 89. Whatever, yeah. yeah. She left leg green. Yeah, no, it's great. It's, it's and then, no, no, Bryce. Yeah, that. Bryce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read, oh, yeah. read the final, the final line. Uh, green band, no printed info. Sorry for bad news. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, Chuck. Imagine if you found out your pigeon died on Chuck Grassley's sweater. <laughs> <laughs> That shit would be a bummer. <laughs> would you then? So that, but that's humanizing, or... right? Because now we know that there is a there is some hey, well, grandfather in him, yeah, regardless that, how you feel about his politics. That's the pitch. Is if it, like one of, one of the interesting things that Justin was pointing out was like we we saw arch enemies allegedly having civil discourse, which to me is like the more of that we can model, the better. Okay, I'm I'm gonna one up you. I'm gonna one up you. Okay, how, how's everybody think about this? Okay, go. First of all, I'm gonna create more government. Oh, everybody likes that, right? Ooh. Okay, so we have the House of Representatives. We have the Senate. Hear me out on this. We've got the House of Resolutions, and it speaks for the soul of America. The House of Does Resolutions. Nothing. They do nothing. Yes. They they argue and argue about what like gender and like what and what like does America mean? How can we have fifty one stars if Puerto Rico stuff like that? And that's where all of the the people wanting to like spotlight grab, they will go there and then leave the policy to the adults. And it's, the other, it'll like a, draw them out. It'll draw them out. It's like a Jerry Burry for uh, politicians. Yeah. Like like look at you. You're doing so good. Exactly. Look at you. You're good. This is how governing You're works. You're very passionate. You're very passionate and voluminous. The two most important things for governance. That's right. I like the part where you didn't read the legislation. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't was- need to. They like it. it it would be like, uh, like, like, did anybody do debate in high school? Like, there's, there's cross sex at LD, and L, like cross sex, you had to have these reams and reams and reams and reams and reams of paper, and then LD, you just bullshit. And like, I did be- both, uh, uh, both of them. LD's way easier to do. Like, I do believe that's short for Lincoln Douglas, mm-hmm. our finest president, yep. Lincoln Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's a uh, yeah. Right. I, I, I would like to see uh, it more like Parliament, just so I could hear uh, uh, Kevin McCarthy go, Order! 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 Order. Uh, d- doesn't C-SPAN, like, late at night switch over to... Par- uh, they do the Parliament Prime Minister's stuff. questions, or at least they used to do the Prime Minister's questions, I think, which are which are amazing. I would love... Okay, that's another thing I love. I would like the Prime Minister's questions, right? Because I think it's very healthy for the executive of a country to get just berated yes. by other people all the time. Like, I don't I don't want, like, a king or a chaplain or a pope or a dad. I want a civil servant brought down to earth regularly. Once a week, have Matt Gates or whoever else... AOC just rip into them. That'd be awesome. And they, and they, it doesn't look like they get really like they're not broken up about it. No, they're great. They they're take, having a fun they, time. They take that beating. I mean, it's yeah, no, they're great. Like, like they, well, also, also, they're really good about that book flip. 
Like they're yeah, always yeah, flipping yeah. that book. Yeah. Where it's like, like, is, like, is that when they make their point? Yeah, yeah. It's that's like, them like, dropping like, the mic. Like, and I should say that it, if, if indeed it is the prime minister's opinion that there should be no exchequer, then the deli is closed. Blah, 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 blah. That's everybody else. Do you know what? They're not allowed to clap. Do you know what? Why that is? What is the rule there? Because they all they all bang. It's got to be the microphones, right? Because clapping is super bad for microphones. But I well, think the rule predates microphones, though. I don't know. Yeah. Mm, well. King George's clap ban yes. <laughs> uh, stands so in effect. So no one will get the clap. That's why. It could be acoustics too. Sometimes acoustics clap. Oh, by the way, we're we're gonna we're gonna talk. Uh, it's kind of a slow news week, heat and so on. We're not wrong on for the Patreon. We're gonna talk about Harry and Meghan literally Great. just because I know yeah. that you fucking hate them. Yeah. And and I've learned to hate them over the last week. So the Duchess of Difficult and the Hostage. I hate them both. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hot takes. You know what I did? Fire. I did this. I, go, I get, I get change the channel. Like, like, like the second, the second my England. feet touch British soil, I become super Tory. Just like, just <laughs> yeah. immediately, like, oh, oh, a Tory. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I just don't know why they're our fucking problem now. Yeah. Why do like why who gave who signed off on this? Uh, I guess there are limits to American freedom. Get the fuck out. We don't <laughs> we don't want you driving around LA taking all the fucking podcast deals. <laughs> <laughs> You're just mad at them about they're getting, the, they're getting all the they're getting all the content. No, also it's like like the, like, like we're, we're we're seeing them throw their fastball and it's like mm, it's very hard to be a royal. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, fucking where do you bat for Kansas City?" You don't Get the fuck out. Your life's really easy. <laughs> no one gives a shit. Or actually, it might be hard. Look, everybody's got to fucking uh, carry their own cross. Everybody has their own problems. I can understand living in a fishbowl and having your entire life dissected is a problem. But yet, nobody gives a fuck. You fucking have slaves if you want, I'm sure. <laughs> like, you probably, if anyone has slaves, it's the royal family. Wow. Yeah, right? Yeah. I just love the royal family of Saudi Arabia, but they'd be a runner up. I love how you go for the throat and then you walk back. And then you come back forward again and then you walk. Yeah. No, it's like, look, look. It's called edging. (laughs) (laughs) You're just like sting. Yeah. Uh, Like, uh, if you wake up and your job is to decide what products to consume and whether or not you want to renew their their royal writ uh, for branding fucking deals because your brand is worth. Six billion dollars. Yeah, fuck you. See, th- th- okay, this is where I'm actually torn. Is because I, again, I don't like those those uh, uh, carbuncles on the royal family that we were discussing. But they are actually the only members of the royal family that have earned what we can even approach calling an honest living in the last thousand years. That's true. So on the other, I'm like, God, like, cause like Queen Elizabeth, who everybody salivated over, and she was a nice lady. I'm not saying nothing bad about Queen Elizabeth. Like all of her money is. From all of the peasants that were squeezed dry 400 years ago, like yeah. no one was, no one was earning that money, right? It's like Meghan Markle is everything that I hate about entertainment and reality television, and like, oh, but she's well, at she least was, not she was getting it from peasants. She was, she was, she was an I actress liked her on, on, suits. on suits. Yeah, I liked her on suits. Like she wasn't on like the Real Housewives of Long no. Island. No, it's the sort of tell-all narcissism for profit bit that I don't yeah. like. Well yeah. now, yeah, no, now now they're like they're plugged into that thing. Well, because also it's like the royals do work; they leak to the press that they're doing X, Y, or Z, right. and like like they maintain a cottage industry of of interest around them. Uh, that is not only a, a way that they can maintain a hold on the people, but also like that is their gig is to be kind of goldfish in a fishbowl. And, and they should be paid for that, but they should give back all the stuff they stole over the last thousand years. So, like, oh, if they, I, they like, want to draw a salary, them, them for... as a concept is fucking ridiculous to me. Yeah. But also, that's that's the reason why it's like, who who fucking said that you were allowed here? Like, <laughs> like, like, why? I'm just, I'm, Wait, I'm not. Megan can be here. Love She's... America, she can, but he's not allowed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you 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 want to close the border to him? You know what? I, 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 I build I, I, a wall. I, I have become very immigration restrictionist. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying to Biden, do your job. I'm saying get get Harry out of here. There's some fucking low lives that yeah. can't. Fucking I, I got work. a great idea. I want to hear your position on this. All right, listen, hear me out here. You know Canada? Yeah. Hey, we invade that right. shit. All right. And and we topple whatever they got. 
and we put in that guy as their king. That'd be kind of fun, right? Because then he'd actually have to do stuff. Yep. Yep. And, and let, they'd have a king in Vegas. Let's tell him that's the plan and say, and go. go. And, and then everybody the step back. As he yeah. runs across with a lance. Yay! I've got an update. Justin Trudeau Armstrong slaps. or Bass. Got an update. Besides, also, like, he's not really royal. Oh. Oh. Right. Right. Not, right. right. Oh, we talking about that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, he's like, like if we're if we're gonna I mean, really if we're gonna really get under the hood. Wait, is uh, how many of the royals are ginger? That's oh yeah, none of them. Mm. Oh, I see. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, who was that guy that Diana was fucking? <laughs> ginger. Oh wow, that's crazy. Mm. You mean the royal tennis pro? Can yeah. you leave yeah. her alone? <laughs> <laughs> Let her sleep. <laughs> They're no, just no, as bad. I mean, no, no, for her, go can, off, can you, queen. Can you? They would never, queen. ever, 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 ever do it. But you know how, like, occasionally you, 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 like, hear a story about how, like, a family takes a 23 and Me test, and like, the mom's face just falls. <laughs> did, uh, did, like, like, they, they would never do it. But how amazing would it be if did, they actually did that? Did you see that? Like, there was a TikTok viral hit. <laughs> a couple found out, like, after eight years of marriage, that they were brother and sister. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. I think those. Oh, uh, right. I mean, those are on, fake. You're, you're gonna of buy that you one. Totally fake, all of it. A lot of that's fake. Or I mean, no, like you don't go twelve. Wait, years. what do they do? Do they just like like adopt, but not, you know, no, breed? They, no, they just moved to Kentucky. <laughs> breed. I mean, just, <laughs> What a yeah, they don't, uh, no, fine. what they do is they sign a deal with HBO called The Real Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> the Real Lannisters. Targaryen was, Wow, Jones. you don't look like the Lannisters. There was one uh, last year, and it was these two women, and it was this very, like, we. it was this, it was weird because they were really leaning into it. They were really making a meal out of this of, like, oh, we found out we're, like, fourth cousins or something. And, it, like, A, why would you ever admit that? <laughs> Why would you ever tell anybody that anyway? Well, it, like, what and are they getting out of that experience? Uh, views and yeah. controversy. And that's what it is, you know. Uh, you got but but the, the answer is like, <laughs> oh, they're like super, super far removed and they've known for a long time. Bryce, did I tell you about the weird the weird thing that happened to me here a few months ago? No, I'm not going to tell you about this. Uh, so, uh, as as previously noted, I'm dating a woman. Thank you. Congratulations. Yay! Thank you very much. And uh, her grandmother, who was the same age as the queen, died the day after the queen. Like, she outlived her by a day. One was better. Like, I'm, I'm done. One better. I'm done. Okay. So, Kate went, you know, there's no obligation to do this. But I'm, I'm going to go down to Wales for my, my grandmother's funeral service. If you'd like to come down, you can. And I was like, oh. hot damn, opportunity to level up our relationship yeah. again. I'll do it. I'll bury your grandmother. And so <laughs> no, she was actually really like apologetic and she had like a bad dream that I felt bad about it. It was like, ah, I don't want to, like, you're here for a limited amount of time. Uh, I don't want to uh, um, remove you from your friends and things. And I was like, I, no, sweetie, I'm so glad your grandmother's dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make sure. So we, we went down there. It's that American charm. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, they're, they're, uh, because they, they'd done the burial at a different place than the funeral, the burial was much more intimate. And I was one of four guys there, so uh, I was one of the uh, yeah, the, the, the pallbearers. Yeah. yeah, and I'm, like, lowering it going, don't fucking drop this. You'll never get <laughs> oh into this bit. They'll, they'll talk Did to you about that. you have gloves? That. Uh, nope, just real wow. good eye-hand coordination. And okay. then the, the vicar's doing the... Um, He's doing the the send off. The u- eulogy. The send off. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. he, he, he bottle of champagne. He the <laughs> out, cracks the champagne bottle on the casket. Yeah, yeah. I hereby declare you dead under the walls of Wales. And he goes, as it uh, goes. He in. starts getting, he's, he's giving this beautiful uh, speech. He's Welsh. He goes, like, um, you know, we now lay to rest uh, uh, Barbara Shepherd, born Barbara Heaton. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and, Wait, and, what and, was and, that bit? And, 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 was it Heaton? You see, he said Heaton? <laughs> it's even more fucked up because that song they play at the end of every Saturday Night Live was playing behind it. Because we all went to the pub afterwards. I had to be like, hey, hey, Kate's down. I'm real sorry about your, your mom. Hey, listen, uh, do you have any relatives in America on your mom's side? But anyway, I'm not fucking my cousin. Uh, we, oh. we, we checked out this. It's just kind of a fluke. There's very low chance of inbreeding, pretty high chance of autism, giving my voting record and kind of where I'm at uh, in psychology. But, but, uh, but, I, I, but no I feel inbreeding. Like, I feel like if that turned out to be the case, it's like you would you would cease to be an agnostic and you would suddenly believe in God and be very upset with him. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, love the, I, I love the idea of forming a religion on 
God is a dickhead jokester. <laughs> <laughs> He's not evil or good. He's just kind of Andy Kaufman-esque. <laughs> I've <laughs> never felt closer to God. <laughs> <laughs> very, it's very Roman. Dickhead jokester. Ecology. We've got an update here. <laughs> Uh, one open by you in oh, cool. the Discord has <laughs> sent along this, Jeez. which I believe is an open AI image of Newt yeah. Gingrich and the Pope sharing some lasagna. In Very the, nice. Very that's nice. amazing. In the that's incredible. Wait, is it, that's AI? Uh, it's got to be. Wow. But yes, yeah. also because uh, here's one where <laughs> <laughs> Lindsey Graham's that's head is- That's AI? <laughs> his head is in the lasagna. That is my fondest dream. <laughs> There you go. There's also a cartoon. I think that's supposed to be Garfield, but it looks like a sandwich. <laughs> Wait, wow. Yeah. Somebody gave a cat. That is that is a blurst Garfield. <laughs> I... <laughs> Garfield is copyrighted, but not Newton Gingrich's face, so you that's can it. make him whatever you want. Holy shit. I just realized I got a cool more pr- pattern going on for my shirt here on, on camera. Uh, oh, not that I like it. It's tripping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there we go. Sweet. Go. Um... All right, guys. Well, I feel like this was this was a yeah. good this yeah. was a good show. This is a good one. Did we do a good show? Yeah, yeah. I feel like we did a show. I, we did Bryce a show. Is find I, a great I, title. Bryce Wallace said, great but title. I know it was real Sleepy funny. Wallace. And I was laughing. Yes. <laughs> you you were. He was funny jelly. anyway. Between the ears, baby, it was fucking. Uh, 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 <laughs> I mean, I was Eddie bra- Murphy's raw. I was breaking down laughing because I was just looking at your eyes, and it's like, <laughs> it's as though I. Oh, he's doing it again. Myself. It was rubbing all over, and it, your horrified gaze. <laughs> Yes, it was great. It's it was like great. really that. Like, like, honestly, you cracking yourself up and being unable to talk is one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Like, I, like, legitimately, it is among the things that make me the happiest. <laughs> There's a. Have you have you been to the subreddit uh, Contagious Laughter? Yes. Uh, there was one that was like a. a, a uh, it was a Sikh, uh, uh, old guy Sikh, who was on the couch um, with with two younger guys on either side, and he began apparently like I had to look to the comments for for explanation, but he began with like um, uh, uh, your mother something, and it was it was a respectful thing, but the way he said it was that universal in every culture, like your mother, <laughs> and, and like the moment it happened, the guy next to him just kind of just kind of you know, and then. Just for the next one minute, just uh, uh, continues to rub his eyes and dig himself deeper and deeper. And I had no, having no idea of the context. Contagious laughter is a great subreddit. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. Yep. No. Yeah, it's 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 great. Well, you know what has been great? What's this been night? great? This night. Hey. Hey. hey! hey! Uh, that's been a Tuesday for you. We'll be back next Tuesday. Make sure you join us here on twitchtv night or at greatnight.tv. Nailed it. Nailed it. Patreon.com slash great night, of course, to support us. Say goodbye, everybody!